Imagine waking up tomorrow, unlocking your Galaxy phone, and finding it suddenly feels like a brand new device. Not just a little faster, not just a bit cleaner, but genuinely smarter, more capable, and ready to do things you didn't even know it could. That's the promise of One UI 8, and yet Samsung is making us wait. The software is basically done. Early testers have been using it for weeks without major issues, and still, for most of us, it's locked behind a wall until September. Why? The answer isn't as simple as, it's not ready. Because it is. This is a mix of business strategy, marketing timing, and maybe a few secrets Samsung hasn't told us yet. And if you stick around, I'll walk you through every feature that's worth waiting for, and the behind-the-scenes moves that might be shaping this rollout. Before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to Tech Insights so you never miss the latest daily tech updates. Right now, One UI 8 is living in a strange space. On one hand it's shipping, stable, on the Z Fold 7 Z Flip 7, giving new foldable buyers a taste of the update on day one. On the other hand, Galaxy S25 owners, and everyone with last year's flagship models, are still running beta versions. The thing is, these betas are barely beat us. Beta 4 which is on the S25 Ultra right now feels rock solid. No major crashes, no slowdowns, animations are smooth, and battery performance is consistent. If you handed someone this build without telling them it was beta software, they'd probably believe it was the official release. That's what makes the delay so fascinating, and maybe a little frustrating. Part of the reason is timing. September isn't just a random month on the calendar. It's when Apple drops the new iPhones and Google unveils its Pixel lineup with Android 16. If Samsung launched One UI 8 now, it would make headlines for a day and then get buried by those events. By holding back and aligning the release with those moments, Samsung positions itself to ride the tech news wave. Not be swept under it. It's a clever play, but it does mean that people who could be enjoying the update now are left waiting. And then there's the product push. The Z Fold 7 and Z Flip 7 are Samsung's newest pride and joy, and giving them One UI 8 exclusivity for even a few weeks helps drive early sales. If every S25 user already had the same software, that extra incentive to buy a foldable disappears. It's a classic marketing tactic makes something seem rare, and people want it more. Whether that's fair to loyal Galaxy owners is another conversation entirely. So what's actually coming with One UI 8 that makes all this worth the wait? For starters, Samsung is taking a more intelligent approach to your daily experience. The now brief feature has evolved from a simple summary screen into something closer to a personal assistant. It combines your calendar, reminders, weather, news, and smart things device updates into one adaptive hub. It's context-aware, meaning if you're about to head out, it might surface traffic info or a shopping list, and if it's late at night, it can show you tomorrow's first meeting and the current battery level of your earbuds. It's the kind of small daily convenience that adds up over time. Camera lovers are going to notice the biggest jump. One UI 8 adds native log video, recording on supported devices. This isn't just a gimmick. It's a professional tool that gives you far more control over your footage and editing. By recording in a flat, low contrast profile, you preserve more detail in shadows and highlights, letting you grade the colors exactly how you want afterward. Paired with Samsung's already strong hardware, this puts Galaxy devices even closer to replacing dedicated cameras for certain creators. It's already on the S25 Ultra and Beta, and foldables are testing it too, with rumors that high-end S24 models could see it before year's end. Samsung DeX also gets a real upgrade. Connecting your phone to a monitor now feels more like a proper PC experience. Scaling is sharper, app windows behave more predictably, and you can switch between using the phone screen and the monitor display with almost no lag. Even if you're just using DeX on the phone itself, the responsiveness has improved to the point where light productivity tasks feel natural. Imagine editing a document, checking email, and browsing the web all from your phone without feeling like you're making compromises. That's where DeX is heading. Visually, you might not notice dramatic changes at first glance but the polish is there. QuickShare has a cleaner interface and makes sending files to other Galaxy devices faster. Apps like Gallery and My Files have reorganized menus to reduce clutter, while Calendar and Reminders have been streamlined to work together instead of feeling like separate tools. It's all about trimming friction out of everyday tasks. The best part, Samsung hasn't messed with the fundamentals. Your gestures, notification panel, and app drawer are right where you expect them. One UI 8 builds on the foundation of One UI 7 instead of reinventing it. That's important, because while flashy redesigns can be exciting, they also risk breaking muscle memory and slowing people down. This update focuses on speed, consistency, and adding features where they actually make sense. Of course, no software is perfect. The adaptive lock screen clock, which changes style based on your wallpaper, has been hit or miss in the beta. Sometimes it doesn't appear, other times it reverts to the default. Samsung will either fix it before release or push a patch afterward, but it's a reminder that even the stable builds on foldables aren't flawless. 
Still, these are small issues compared to the overall performance improvements we're seeing. When the rollout begins in September, the Galaxy S25 series will be first in line, followed by the S24 models, this year's foldables, and then last year's foldables. Select A series devices are also in the queue, and interestingly, leaks suggest that some upcoming mid-range phones, like the Galaxy A17, could launch with one UI8 pre-installed. If that happens, it would be one of the first times a non-flagship debuts with the latest software before older premium models get it. One UI 8 isn't about blowing you away with a completely new interface. It's about taking what already works and making it better. Smoother animation, smarter AI, better camera tools, and a more refined overall experience. It's the kind of update that doesn't just add features, but makes your phone feel more premium than it did the day you bought it. That's rare in the smartphone world, where new software often feels like change for the sake of change. The waiting is the hardest part. Knowing the update is ready, watching other devices use it, and counting down the days until it hits your phone can be frustrating. But if Samsung's strategy pays off, the launch will be timed perfectly to remind everyone why Galaxy devices stand at the top of the Android world. And when that notification pops up telling you the update is available, you might just forget the wait altogether.